Hello world, my name is Taylor Page from pagepercussion.com and this is an instructional video for the Flourishing Scottish Tenor Drummer. Now whether you're looking to build new skills or clean up existing ones, I hope you find this video useful and informative. Let's get started. Today's video is going to be about the pop flourish. The pop is one and two. It's a two-beat flourish that allows you to transition in and out of other pieces or have a standalone dramatic and opening end flourish. Anyone can do a pop if they have a good command of their inside outside or their figure eight rotation and are ready and willing to learn how to flourish into the palm of their hand instead of just around the hand caught into the fingers. We're going to start off by breaking it down into individual motions. We'll build the flourish back up and then we'll talk about ways that we can transition in and out of other flourishes to build a big routine. Like we talked about before, there's two big parts of a pop that we have to learn to cover off those two beats. The first thing that we have to do is talk about circle stalls. A circle stall is when we're dropping into the palm of our hand and rotating around like a circle. In this case, we're going to do a full rotation before we let it drop into the palm of our hand. One hand. One hand. Now, we can catch that stick no problem with our fingers before we go into the next part. But for speed's sake, and if you're comfortable with open hand stalls, I would strongly recommend keeping it open to transition into the next part, which is our forward, backward, or our figure eight rotation. So just to recap, we do our circle stall, catch, or open hand, depending on what you're doing. And the next section is just a figure eight rotation forward into the fingers. In, out, catch. Again, circle stall, in, out, catch. I'll try it on the other hand here now. So same thing as before. We're going to do a circle stall, circle stall, full rotation into the hand, open or close, depending on what you're doing. And then a figure eight rotation, catch. One and a two. One hand, a two. Now it's most common use with both hands to transition open and big into other things. Let's try it with both hands and see what that looks like. Now I tend to kind of give myself a bit of a cross here to give myself some momentum. We're gonna do circle, stall, open or close, depending on what you're doing. In, out, catch. Circle, stall, in, out, catch. In terms of arm position, my favorite way to kind of accentuate and define that movement is by extending my arms horizontally and then pushing up to the ankle. One and a two. One and a two. We'll talk next about building it up and transitioning it into other flourishes. Pops are great on their own. They're a very open and dramatic looking flourish, but I personally find them to be even better when we're using them in conjunction or as part of a bigger combination of flourishes. We're gonna go through two combinations now. One's a little bit simpler, a little bit slower. It involves singles, tables, and double flourishes. And the second one's a little bit faster, involves a little bit more complex movements with lots of pinwheels, crossouts, and palmings. Play around with whichever one suits you best. The first combination that we're gonna do is as follows. One and a two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna start off with our pop, our one and two, down on three, up into a cross double or split the feather on four, singles, one, two, tables, three, four. I'm going to try that guy again. One and a two, three, four, singles, one, two, three, four. One more time for good luck. Here we go. One and a two, three, four, one, two, three, now, in order to use these pops in a little bit more of a quicker sense, a bit more of a complex sense, we need to essentially double time the flourish in order to build more around it. So instead of one and a uh, two, we're going to be one, two, or one and, to be more accurate. The next combination is going to be as follows. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we're going to start off with our pop nice and quick, circle stall in out, we're going to cross out at the top, and then go into a cross palm out wheel, palm out on the right hand next, palm out on the left hand to end it off. So one and two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna eat these fish. One more time. One and two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. And I hope you come up with some cool combinations with this flourish. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at Page Percussion and on Instagram at, at @taylorthetenor. You can also check out my website, pagepercussion.com, for all your instructional, score writing, and consulting needs. Hope to see you around. Take care.